So when removing the lower unit shift linkage, I'm on the tiller handle side. And then down here, there's a little clip. So I'll pop this clip up with a screwdriver. All right, now it's popped up. And then you can just reach in there. And this slides out towards us. So you grab it and pull it out and then the shift linkage is ready to remove. After you remove that piece up top on the shift linkage, you wanna come down here, get an eight millimeter onto that. And this is the shift linkage going down into the lower unit. You wanna undo this almost all the way i don't take it off the bolt i leave the nut on the bolt and then this piece will just slide out and then you come down here take this bolt off the front lower unit then there's one bolt on each side one on that side one on this side and then the whole unit will slide down and out okay right, now that we got the lower unit off we want to take apart these four bolts on the top one here one here and one on each other side and those are 3 8 inch now that them four bolts are removed I want to remove this little plastic cap and then I can slide the whole top housing up and off You want to inspect this for any gouges or any parts where it looks like something might have melted. And this one looks fine. So the impeller's a little bit bent, but not bad. We're going to replace it anyway since we got to this point. There's a plastic washer that goes on top of the impeller. Lift up the water pump impeller. Sometimes this can be tough because it gets caught on this keyway. You do not want to lose this keyway. Definitely don't want to drop it down any of those holes. So we'll set this aside. And we're not replacing the whole water pump housing. We're just doing the impeller. So we're going to leave the rest of this on. So I got the impeller on the shaft. It doesn't matter. You can't put it on upside down because we're putting a brand new one on. You're going to want to take the key, stick the key back in the groove. And then there's a hole on the impeller you line the key up with. And it should just slide right over top when you get it lined up. Then at this point, I like to put the gear case in the neutral. You can lift up and it won't turn. And you put it down one click and you're in neutral. So this shaft spins clockwise. We're going to take our plastic washer, put that back on. Then we're going to take our housing, slide that back on. And then when you get it to this point, the easiest thing to do is just hold the housing in place and turn the shaft clockwise. Just like that. Now we'll reinstall our four bolts. So the four bolts are back on. 
Uh, you don't want to tighten these down too much because this piece right here is plastic and it'll come down and crack that. So you just get them snug and then slightly tighter. I do about maybe a quarter turn after they just snug down. We'll put our plastic cap back on. And it's ready to go back in. We want to make sure that that little copper hose goes into this little tube. That's where your water chute goes up into your motor. So that's very important to line that up when it gets to that point. Now we're going to line up that copper hose. Alright. They're in. Our unit split up. And we're good. I'm going to take one bolt and stick it in this hole right here. And then that way it'll hold this into place while I hook the shift linkage and stuff back up. I'm going to leave a little play in that. That way I can adjust this bottom piece a little bit while I'm trying to hook this shift linkage back up up top. I'm going to put this back down. So, our shift linkage somehow magically landed right where it should be shift linkage and then you just push this down and snap it into place and that's it so now I'm going to raise the motor back up motor raised back up I'm going to leave this one loose I'm going to stick the bolt in on this side and get it finger thread. And then the bolt on this side, get that one finger threaded in. That one's tight. Tight this side. That's tight. And tight this side. So, lower you it's done. So when you set this, you want to set it with the handle in neutral, and then I set it with just a small gap underneath this little arm that moves up and down. That way when you put it in forward gear, you can use your tilt. And that's it. I'll put the cover back on and it's ready to go.